sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. Snapchat and Instagram and go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the bell right next to it so that you can get notifications as to when I post new videos. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about baking soda also known as sodium bicarbonate. If you remember in my last video I expressed a desire to have cleaning products that were a little bit more user friendly for my children and my husband and myself because a lot of the cleaning products that are out there they have so much chemicals in them that you even feel like you're about to The smell is so strong, right? <laughs> the smell is so strong. I've had friends that tell me that they hurry up and spray everything that they need to spray and run out of the bathroom and close the door until the smell can subside and then they'll go back in there and clean. So I want a cleaning product that I don't have to sit there and feel like I'm risking my life for me to clean whatever it is that I'm cleaning. So I've been looking up different methods as to how I can clean my bathroom and or any other items in my home and and I was able to find many benefits to the use of baking soda. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to use baking soda in your kitchen. So tip number one is that you could use it to put out grease fires. So if you're cooking with grease and a fire was to ignite, you could utilize it by sprinkling um, some baking soda on top of the fire to extinguish the fire. Tip number two is that you can use it to deodorize your kitchen sink. So if there is a foul odor coming from your sink, then you could go ahead and put in baking soda, half a cup, followed by half a cup of um, vinegar. And then after 15 minutes, you could put in some hot water. And when you pour in the hot water, it is to remove the residue that may have been left behind by the baking soda. Now. Disclaimer is that through my research, it is recommended that you only do this if you have metal pipes. So if you do not have metal pipes, it is not recommended, but if you do, it is definitely a great alternative. It has definitely worked for me. Tip number three is that you could use it to clean out your dishwasher. And what I've done is that I've opened it, pulled back the rack, and I sprinkled baking soda on the base, the bottom of the dishwasher. And then I closed it, put in the light cycle, and press start, and boom, my dishwasher was sparkly clean. Tip number four is that you can use it to refresh the smell in your refrigerator. Now, with baking soda, it helps to neutralize any foul odors that can be in your refrigerator. What I've also noticed that it's done is that it doesn't cross contaminate my food. So sometimes I'll have let's say um, pepper in there and then I'll have um, bread. For some odd reason, I'm not quite sure, when I go to toast the bread, it has um, a weird taste to it, like whatever is in the refrigerator. So it also helps to neutralize that as well. So your refrigerator stays refreshed and there is no foul odors in it. Tip number five is that when you utilize the baking soda with some water, so you put a little bit of baking soda with some water and you shake it up, you can utilize that to remove the wax coating often find on various fruits and vegetables. So what you would do is spray the vegetable or fruit with that mixture and then gently with a light brush remove that wax coating off of it before, prior to you eating it. Tip number six is that it can help eliminate garbage smells. So I've used this twice now to try to eliminate the garbage smell. The first time, I'm not quite sure if it's because the garbage was just that foul, it wasn't working, but it did not work. But the second time I used it, it actually did work. So I, I guess it's a hit and miss, I don't know. I'm not quite sure under what circumstances that it didn't work the first time, but definitely worked the second time. So that is definitely a tip that you could try in your own home. So tip number seven is that you could use it to clean extra greasy pans and plates. So you will simply just use it with hot water and let it soak for a little bit and then utilize it with hot water and then go ahead 
ahead and wipe or scrub, depending on how bad it is, scrub off the greasiness that you will find in these extra greasy pans or plates. Tip number eight, I know for sure that this one works, is that you could utilize it to clean your stove top and inside of your oven. So what you could do is create a paste for inside the oven that consists of vinegar, baking soda, and soap kitchen soap that is and then you could go ahead and create a paste and then smear it all inside the oven and then after 24 hours you could wipe it down and you will be left with a very nice clean oven and also the stove top it works very well on top of that also mixed with the vinegar and a little bit of water actually that one works very well so hopefully you're able to find these tips useful for you if you try any of these tips go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how it turned out for you thank you so much for watching if you haven't connected with me yet you could do so on Facebook snapchat and Instagram and as always don't forget to click that subscribe button along with the bell so you can get notifications as to when I post new videos. 